Titans preparing for Monday night football with the Buffalo Bills. So, John, a little extra time coming off game one, time for more practice, more meetings. What's the team really been working on since your season opening game with the Giants? Well, I think improvement, Mike. I mean, there were certainly some things that we did well in that game. But also, it, you know, we've said before, it comes down to five or six plays that when you don't execute them properly, you know, the outcome usually doesn't bode in your favor. So really identifying those guys, working through practice, in meetings, stressing the points. So when those present themselves again, we can execute them properly. What was your impression of the Titans rookies in the season opener? Well, I thought we got production out of several of those guys, really in all three phases, offensively, defensively, and in the kicking game. There were certainly some positive plays that all of them made, but also some teachable moments like any young player that we can coach up and, and hopefully improve on. Let's talk about Buffalo, your opponent this coming Monday night. What impressed you about their opening win over the Rams on September the 8th? Yeah, really impressive in all three phases of the game, offensively, defensively, and in the kicking game. You know, Josh Allen, everybody knows who he is. He's got a lot of playmakers in Diggs, Knox, McKenzie. Davis made some plays for him down the field. I thought the line did a good job protecting for him. And then their defense, it was really attacking up front. You know, with Von Miller, Daquan Jones showed up on the inside, Phillips on the inside, Ed Oliver. They got two great safeties in Poirier and Micah Hyde. Both of those linebackers were running fast and getting to the ball, Edmonds and Milano. So, you know, really complimentary offensively, defensively, and special teams. Uh, and they played well. Does it help you prepare that you've seen the Buffalo Bills the last four seasons in a row? Yeah, it feels like they're in our division. Um, but, uh, it, you know, from an X's and O's standpoint, you know, coaches always kind of tweak a little something here or do a little something different there. But from a player standpoint and a you know personnel standpoint, you at least kind of have an idea of the skill sets of the guys that you're going to go against. This player, he kind of, I remember when he did this or, you know, he did that and I thought I could take advantage of it. So. Knowing the, you know, the skill sets of the players certainly is beneficial when you've got you know, some, some consistency playing against an opponent every single year. John, what do the Titans have to do well Monday night to win at Buffalo? Well, I think improve on the things that you know, we talked about earlier in the show and, and, and get better at those. I mean, it's a raucous environment up there. We know that we're going to have to handle all of the distractions with playing in Buffalo that, that comes with that. You know, but offensively, we, we've got to establish a run game. You know, we've got to protect Ryan. Guys got to get open quick because we know that rush is coming. And defensively, we, we know the problems that Josh poses as a runner and as a thrower. So we've got to be disciplined in our rush lanes because he can escape at any moment and, and take off running. There's a lot of playmakers downfield. We've got to be sticky in our coverage and we've got to be really sure tacklers. Now we've got to ask you, we saw Monty Hooker make some big plays in last Sunday's game. What led you to extend his contract last week? Well, I mean, Amani has came in and improved every single year. It started on special teams. He was a personal protector on the punt team. He carved out more of a role defensively. He was a sub-starter for us defensively. He showed up, he made plays, he works hard, he's smart, he's intelligent. Those are the types of players that, that you want to commit to when they come in and they do it the right way. They grow in our program and happy for his family and excited for us that he's going to be around here for several years.